Hello everyone, welcome back to the tutorial series on digital computer fundamentals. And in this session, let me explain to you how do you subtract two binary numbers using one's complement method. In the previous session, we had discussed how do you subtract two binary numbers using one's complement method when you are subtracting a smaller number from a larger number. So, in this session, let me explain to you how do you subtract two binary numbers. When you are subtracting a larger number from a smaller number. So when you are subtracting a larger number from a smaller number using one's complement method, we need to determine the one's complement of the larger number first. And then the resultant one's complement you get, you have to add it to the smaller number. Now when you add this, you will not get a carry. It means that the number is in an op is in the one's complement form and it is in the opposite sign. So what do we have to do? We have to find the one's complement of the result and we have to negate it. So we will discuss this with an example. So here is an example given which says that subtract 1101 from 1001. So I have to subtract, I'll, I'll note it down. Uh, please see the question what it says. It is asking you to subtract 1101 1, from 1001. Okay, so from this number 1001, what is that you need to subtract? I need to subtract this number 1101. Alright, now the, what is the first step says? The steps are written here. I have to determine the ones complement of the larger number. So I will have to determine the ones complement of the second number. So ones complement of this is 0010. If you don't know how to find the ones complement, please refer to my previous video on ones complement form. Now I am finding the ones complement of the second number and I am writing the first number as it is. Now I have to add these two numbers. 1 plus 0 is a 1, 0 plus 1 is a 1, 0 plus 0 is a 0 and 1 plus 0 is a 1. Now again to know more about binary addition, please refer to my video on binary addition. Now, once you add this, you will not find any carry. If you see, if you have uh, visited my playlist and then you have seen how do you subtract using one's complement of a smaller number from a larger number, you would have noticed that you will get a carry. When you are adding, you will get a carry. But in this case, you won't get a carry. What is the meaning? This number, it means that this number is, it, is in its one's complement form and it is in the opposite side. So to get the actual result, I have to find the ones complement of this number. So I'll again find the ones complement of the result. So ones complement of this is this is 0, 1, 0, 0. And I need to perform one more action on this. I need to negate this. That is, it is in your it is in the negative form. So the final result will be 0, 1, 0, 0, which is a minus value. So this is your final result upon negating it. This is how you find uh, the subtraction of two numbers when you have to subtract a larger number from a smaller number using one's complement method. One more thing to be noted here, when you are performing subtraction using one's complement method, you are not using a subtraction method but you are, at, you are using addition of numbers. Okay, let us see another example. When you have to subtract 1111 from 1011. So from 1011 you have to subtract 1111. So let us perform this by the step says determine the ones complement of your larger number or determine the ones complement of the second number. Ones complement of this number is 0000. 0, 0, 0. This number I will add it with the first number which is considered as it is. Okay. So 1 plus 0 is a 1, 1 plus 0 is a 1, 0 plus 0 is a 0, 1 plus 0 is a 1. Notice that you are not getting any carry here. It may, When you are not getting a carry, it means that this number is, it in, is in its ones complement form. So to get the actual result, you will have to find the ones complement of this. So let us find what is the ones complement of this. So here again. So what is the ones complement of this? All ones are changed to 0 and all zeros are changed to 1. Is this your final answer? No, you have to perform one more action which says that the answer has an opposite sign. So you have to negate this. So this is your answer. 
when you are performing a subtraction between 1011 and 1110. 1011 is nothing but an 11. You are performing an 11. This is in decimal form. If you check, it is 11. And this is 15. 11 minus 15 is nothing but 4. Minus 4. Right? This is nothing but minus 4 in decimal form. Okay? So, this is how you perform subtraction using one's complement. Whatever subtraction you are performing, whether it is a smaller number to larger, uh, from a larger number or a larger number from smaller number, you have to notice one thing. You always find the one's complement of the second number added with the first number. If you are getting a carry, add the carry to the result. If you are not getting a carry, take the one's complement of the result and negate it. Yeah. That's all for this session and if you have understood the video, if you like the video, kindly subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for you listening.